Here's the bridge. I don't think you can make it bounce all on your own. <laughs> so we're walking across stuff in the footbridge and it like literally bounces. Like the whole thing is like ooh, 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 really bad. It's really pretty, but I don't like the bouncing action very much. <laughs> Caleb, he's like a child. He like wants it to bounce. He's like more bouncing. What's 1881? See, you can make it bounce. Okay, we're gonna make it bounce. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so there's also these really cool locks. And we did watch a geocaching video in one of these locks had the Glue in it or something, so. I bet it's gone now, so it's probably No, I don't know, it might still be here, but we're not, we don't really do the geocaching, so I'm not gonna really try to look for that because we are not paying for cell phone signals, so we only have internet access or phone signal whenever we have Wi Fi. It's a wee bit like somebody's garden, and that's because it is. Just here, on the right-hand side, is a very big house belonging to the Bailey family. Power powerful merchants. Uh, they've been old money here, going back a long, long way. They were old money, even at the time of the Jacobite Risings. They can trace their bloodline back to the kings who sat upon the throne of Scotland just before the Wars of Independence. Uh, the kings who were known as the House of Balliol. They followed the old House of Kings at the time of the rising of the 18th century. And so they fought at the Battle of Culloden and afterwards they went on the run and their house was burned to the ground. That house there was rebuilt in the year 1760.
they said that this is the gathering place for the Clan McRae when they went to battle. So Caleb's ancestors gathered here when they wanted to go to war. <laughs> Caleb is determined to see these horses. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> if he climbs down there, he's gonna have to come back. So we'll see. People were a lot skinnier back in the day. Just the it's really narrow here. <laughs> we have to sidestep to get in the door. <laughs> of sky beyond okay. over here on this side of the glen they are way up on the high ground on the far side can you see them? those are highland cattle and they aren't really restricted very much in terms of where they could go so they were allowed on this ground to climb as high as they feel just can't get over the it. Food. I, well, we ate lunch and so good. We, so, so we had a, something a little different. It was a sandwich made of roast steak. Yeah. Yeah, beef or steak. something. Steak. Really good. And then of course we just can't get enough of sticky toffee pudding. But this one had like the ultimate stick to your mouth. It had, had popcorn, popcorn. Yeah, and really honeycomb good. that would weld to your teeth. <laughs> and um, I have my Clan McRae tartan hat on now because I finally found it, so I'm gonna wear it. All right, let's carry on exploring. Here we go. This is something really interesting to me. Like um, everybody hears about Gaelic being a dead language, but it's everything is in Gaelic here. Even the grocery store has the words in Gaelic. The street signs are.
So we found a nice little secret spot in the glen, kind of in the little spot valley, I guess you would call it, that has a little creek running through it. It's really beautiful here. I'm just so in love with it all.